Hello, my name is Harry Graham and I'm going to talk through the seatbelt anchorage tool in Oasis 20. The seatbelt anchorage tool has been in Primer since Oasis 15. For Oasis 20, the tool comes with a range of enhancements to increase the options for analysis. ECE R14 is one of the tests that provides the insurance of sufficient strength resistance of all anchorage points. The Primer SBA tool sets up the analysis according to the ECE R14 specification. The tool positions the appropriate loading devices, lap block and the shoulder block, attached with a seatbelt system at the R point in the vehicle. Here is a model read into Primer. Typically this will be a sled model for seatbelt anchorage. Most models might include a bit more than this one, but here we have the seat, doors, floor and the B pillar. To open up the tool, go to safety and then SBA automation. This opens up the main panel and you have to specify certain things that Primer needs to know to set up this type of analysis. All of the required input fields are highlighted in red for ease of use. This includes things like the points on the B pillar and so on. Click on the inertia slash create constraints and contact button. This contains additional options to set up inertia loading on the seat. Click on seat settings and belt fitting inputs option. Contains a range of optional fields to personalize your setup, such as shoulder block options, 1D belt length options, seat belt width, thickness and length, etc. You can save everything out to a settings file, so you only have to set it all at once. You can do this by pressing the green select button and then pressing read. This will populate all the fields as per your settings file as you can see. Once you are happy with your input data you can go to the inertia page and the calculate button will be highlighted if all required fields are filled in. Primer then goes away and starts the analysis. It begins by bringing in the standard blocks which are included with Primer or you can now use your own user defined formers from Oasis 20 onwards. It then positions the inertia loading device, the blocks into the seat and into the location according to the regulation. And then the final step is to fit the seat belt around the blocks whilst creating the correct loading on the seat belts, which will pull the blocks during the analysis. So here you can see the blocks moving into place. And the seat belt now being fitted around it correctly. As you can see, the test is now complete and we can write this model out ready to be run in Alice Diner. I'm now going to highlight some of the new features in Oasis 20 for the seatbelt anchorage. Starting off with on the main panel, there's a new option to change the input load and keyword from star load node to star boundary prescribed motion node using a smooth curve. Beneath that, there is also a new option to, to change the vehicle category. If you update this, the load on the blocks and the seat inertia loading will now update as per the test specification based on the vehicle category, units and seat inertia selected. You can still manually edit the load values yourself. On the inertia create constraints and contacts page, Centre of gravity can now be calculated by inputting your own coordinates or centre of gravity can be calculated on the fly using the seat structure part set selected in the seat part set option. Still within the inertia create constraints and contacts page there is now an option to create a star set part collect title to add the body blocks, seat belt and parts created by the SBA script so that it is out of global contact. These items are on the image on screen. You can take the next free ID or provide a set part ID to use. There is also a new option to change star part to star part inertia for the body blocks. The values added into star part inertia, such as total mass, 
inertia tensor components and coordinates of centre mass are taken from the body blocks themselves using the mass props tool. Within the seat settings and belt fitting inputs page, you can now create star database history cards for the SVA loading beams and the seat belt elements. These are circled in the image. Beneath this option, you can now change the section and material IDs for the different parts of the seat belt. There is also a new option to change the seat belt thickness, width, and length. Other new features in the tool for Oasis 20 include the creation of a contact between the body blocks and the seat belt. The errors in the ARAP formers that come with the program have been removed, or you can now use your own user defined formers. There's also been a range of help images added throughout the setup panel to help set up your simulation. Thank you.